Everybody, including dogs, will like a healthy, green-looking lawn. Well, here's a tip. A file like this can be a big part of it. Let me show you why and how to take advantage of it. This video shows a demonstration of what I do to my machines. Anything you do will, of course, be done at your own risk. A good-looking lawn doesn't just need fertilizer and water. It needs to be cut with a sharp lawnmower blade, especially in the middle of summer when the weather gets dry. This is why. Here is a single blade of grass that's been cut with a dull lawnmower blade, being compared to one that's been cut with a sharp blade. The top is ripped off and shredded, and so has started to dry and turn yellow. It's only one blade of grass, right? How about this blade of grass stuck in your lawn multiplied by one million? It'll look something like this. Now the blade under a mower deck spins and you would assume just slices the grass off at a particular height, right? Well, look a little closer. A sharp lawnmower blade does cut the grass by slicing it off, but a dull lawnmower blade actually beats the grass down and rips off each individual grass blade. Not only does this make your lawn look yellow, but when you're cutting deep or thick grass, a dull blade puts an added load on your mower engine. Here I've taken my blade off and as always my first step is to carefully use a scraper and remove all the built up grass and debris. I always clean the blade before the next step. I then visually inspect the blade for damage. A bent blade or one with chunks out of it or any deformities or cracks especially near the tip means the blade must be replaced. Never take chances by trying to straighten one that is bent. This thing spins at over 3,000 rotations per minute, so if it comes apart, there could be some serious injuries. If there is no damage, I will continue to the next step, which is checking the balance of the blade. I will check the balance of this blade before and after sharpening it. Remember, a lawnmower blade must be balanced in weight at all times. Damage, or at least excessive wear to the machine, could result if one end of the blade weighs more than the other. This would also set up vibrations in the mower when the blade is spinning. A simple method I use for balancing a blade is to draw a pencil line across the exact center of the hole at the center of the blade. I then place the ruler in my vise and then balance the blade on the edge of the ruler directly over the pencil line like this. If the blade teeters down on one side, the blade is out of balance and so more material will need to be removed from the heavier side of the blade. So here is a dull lawnmower blade, and one that is sharp. With a light behind my shoulder shining at the blade edge, you can clearly see a well-defined silver line shining back at me. A lawnmower blade, or any blade for that matter, is considered to be sharp if there is no light reflected back from the leading edge of the blade. That is, any shine at all means the blade is dull. Here I will clamp my blade in a clamping device, which is, in this case, a bench vise. Now look at the angle of the cutting edge of the blade. With the file, I always carefully match that angle as much as possible when filing. Also, and this is important, to keep the lawnmower blade balanced, it is important to remove from one end of the blade the same amount of material as the other. For example, if I file 50 times on one side, I must file 50 times using the same pressure and stroke length on the other side. I will keep filing until there is no light reflected back from the leading edge of the blade when I shine a light on it. Next, I check my balance using the line I drew on the center of the blade hole. The teeter-totter must not drop substantially on one side. If one side is heavier than the other, I will file more from the heavy side until the blade balances nicely. I'll then check my leading edge with a light or a reflection. If there is none, then I am done. I'll then reinstall the blade on the mower and enjoy the results. Now for a few quick notes on this method. One, on an extremely worn out blade where the leading edge is rounded off, I might need to file 200 or more times on each end of the blade to get a sharp edge. Two, I always try to maintain that original angle of the blade. Three, some people would suggest using a grinding wheel instead of a file. 
I used to do that a very long time ago and have found that there is much more control using a file and a far better result. Just be patient. I hope this video has given you some information you can use. Remember, always follow your lawnmower manufacturer's instructions for blade removal and care, and never take chances with anything. If you have doubts, take your machine to a professional just to be safe. If you found this video interesting or helpful in any way, please give a thumbs up. And for more videos, please join me by subscribing to my channel. Thanks for watching.